It's come to light that a lot of people are confused about how local government affects them and even how it works in the first place. Here's a basic rundown. Auckland's local government is made up of 149 local board members in total, representing 21 local boards. These 21 local boards work within their local communities, maintaining parks, supporting local events, culture and activities, and providing grants to community programs. From these 21 local boards, 13 wards are formed, composed of one to three local boards each. From each ward comes one to two councillors, resulting in 20 councillors in total. On the council sits those 20 councillors and your mayor. The council is responsible for setting budgets and deciding rates and creating Auckland's bylaws which govern the likes of cafes, restaurants, dog control and public safety. It's the decision maker which is behind your curbside rubbish pickup, bus services and designing the city's infrastructure. The council is also charged with reviewing the council controlled organisations or the CCOs. There are currently six substantive CCOs ranging across investment, development, events and tourism, galleries, zoos, sports stadiums, water care and of course Auckland Transport. The Mayor, your Mayor, is responsible for providing a vision for the city and its people and providing leadership to see that council decisions build towards that vision. A lot of the council's functions affect your daily life and you pay for it through rates, either as a landowner or contributing to through your rent, user charges, service fees and licenses. The balance of income comes from return on investment. You get a say on who represents you, from your local board to the councillors of your ward to your mayor. Voting takes place through the post. You'll get a letter on the 16th of September and have three weeks to return it with your vote until voting closes on October 8th.